Here I have the NYX lip liner in the shade Hot Red, Max Riri Wu, and then MAC Diva. Uh, so those are the lip products I use in this video. And what I'm first doing is taking the NYX Jumbo Pencil in the shade Milk. And I'm just outlining where I want the scars slash uh, scratches to go on my face. Um, that way I have an outline. I did film this video once and I didn't like how it turned out. So I decided to film again and this time I did the outline because it, it just helps a little bit more. And then I'm taking the liquid latex and I'm just placing that on the first scar area. And what you're going to do is take one sheet of <laughs> I was having too much fun one sheet of tissue and apply that on top of the liquid latex and then you're gonna peel off the excess tissue as you can see here and then you're gonna want to repeat this process four or five times depending on how uh, deep you want the wounds to be so I do go through the whole process of this one scar and then I go off camera and I do the rest and I come back once I get to the last one just so you guys aren't bored watching the whole entire thing because it does take a few minutes to do. When you're doing this, you want to make sure you're painting really thin layers. The first time I did this, I made the mistake of just putting too much liquid latex and it didn't blend into the skin as well as I wanted it to. I don't know, I just didn't like how the first the first time I did this. So just paint thin layers and um, layer on the tissue paper. So that's the last one. When you get to the last layer, you're going to put um a top coating of the liquid latex that way that's what dries down last and that's gonna have the flesh like feeling on top instead of the tissue paper so as you can see once it dries it does become a little bit more flesh color and now i'm taking scissors please be careful when you do this you don't want to cut your face obviously there's enough layers from the liquid latex that when you cut, like you shouldn't cut your skin. That's why you put so many layers. But what I'm doing here is cutting through the middle and then I'm folding back the liquid latex. That way it adds, there's the depth for the, the scar on your face. And you're, gonna, you're just going to do this on all of the little scars that you made on your face. Again, just pushing back the liquid latex. And you can go as far up or down or you can keep them short. I wanted them to be a little bit longer so I'm cutting to the edges as much as possible. Then what you're going to do is take some foundation and cover up the scars a little bit so that they blend into your own skin. The foundation I used was a little too dark at first so I went back in and added a lighter color so that everything sort of blended. And now I'm taking the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean and we're just going to put that right into the deepest part of the wounds. This is going to add more dimension and make them look more real. So I'm just using a Sigma eyeliner pencil, eyeliner brush, <laughs> uh, to do this. I'm taking Fresh Scab by Ben Nye, and this is just a really thick gel uh, consistency that's just going to make the wounds look more realistic. So I'm adding that uh, mostly in the center of the wound and also spreading it around. That way it sort of looks more real on your skin. Instead of seeing the flesh color of the latex, I think it just looks better this way. 
So as I was saying, uh, my makeup is really simple because I wanted the focus to be on the gashes on my face. So nothing over the top with the makeup, just some red lips and a basic foundation routine. Now I'm taking Dark Blood. This is the same thing as Stage Blood. It's just a little bit darker. This is also from Ben Nye. And I'm just loading this up on the wounds as well. Making them drip a little bit so that they look more bloody. And then once I finish with this, I'm going to put in a contact lens on one side of my face. It's a blind gray contact lens which I think really looks really cool. So once you do that, you are complete with the look. It's really easy to do. It's just time consuming, but I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye.